He was about eight years old, nine years old at primary school, and they did a cross-country race at school. So Richard, of course, never remembers things. He forgets to take his PT kit. He forgets to take his running shoes with him. So he just ran barefoot in his school clothes. He won it, hands down, wasn't even tired. I knew that I kind of wanted to be a professional athlete when I was quite young, or when I was in primary school, kind of already. I, re I remember drawing the Olympic rings when I was in primary school. So I think definitely sports was like, I mean, from my father's side, he's a very sporting person. So I was watching my dad all the time, and that kind of inspired me to, to do sports, I guess. And when they were young, they used to do a lot of mountain biking on the farm, build their own ramps, build their own jumps. That was where they first started. I suppose mountain biking was the first time where I thought this is what I really want to do. I want to become a professional in sports. I just didn't make it in the cycling, the cycling arena. So duathlon was then, okay, I'll do duathlon. I was running and cycling. If I do both of those kind of well, I'll do, you know, do well from that. I think that first moment we realized that he really could do very well professionally in sport is when he won the World Duathlon Championships. That then I led on to triathlon, I decided I want to be a professional, this is what I'm going to do for the next two years or three years, and let's see if I can make a living out of it. The South African was away and gone, establishing an eight second lead. Murray's first ever WTS win at the Olympic distance, only his second ever. Travis McGraw is a friend. I couldn't find a swimming pool that was big enough to swim in and I ended up swimming at uh, Travis McGraw's house and I kept on swimming there and stuff and I think that I might have inspired him that day a little bit. Yeah, since then he picked up triathlon and uh, changed his life a little bit and uh, I think he probably lost 30 to 40 kilograms or something crazy like that. Still chat to him every now and then and stuff. <laughs> One of the cases where people, you know, change their lives and uh, change their lifestyles and I think that was you know, very cool to be, you know, to still be part of it. Family is very important to anyone's success. You have to share your successes and your failures with somebody. You can't do it alone.